All right, I don't have a lot of time with this. I'm gonna make this as quick as I can. Okay, part three now. <sighs> okay, so in in recap, basically, or to sum up, I find these series is were horribly mismanaged. They miswritten. They're not. They're not well written very well. <laughs> Miss Marvel for a lead character, I could barely give a flying anything about her. It's a semi compelling story, but the lead is very stock. It's very diary of a wimpy kid, and I am only vaguely, vaguely interested because it's a new hero with a new type of power. But as the hindrances, which is I like, you know, she's a certain type of girl. She has her religious upbringing. She has her social upbringing, you know, and then she has superpowers on top of that. Okay, that makes for a good, um, compelling story. What is not is the writing. So your concept's good, but your writing is shit. You know, you're trying to add this all on there. You're trying to make us, con you know, care about this woman, this little girl, whatever, and it is just not really making me care it vaguely has my attention as you know as opposed to obi-wan who had my attention since trailer or concept one way back in 2017 might i add but now it's like okay so you you brought in everything you had everything going on and then it's like okay so you have a character who survived spoiler you had a character who survived the the a youngling who survived order 66 and then decided to slaughter her way through innocence in order to get to the big bad and we're supposed to care about this person with a dramatic revelation of course and it's like no no you don't do that you don't make Princess Leia and the, the 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 third sister, you know, like almost tie for first place in your story. It's about Obi Wan, then it should be about Obi Wan. Yeah, I should probably bring in Vader, sure, but then it just feels like like more bad fan fiction. That's what a lot of this feels like. 